So, Sylvia, family drama, does it, 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 I get the impression it feels like a, a family on set because you're going back to your family after all these years. Yeah, it's weird. I mean, we've been doing this, it's five seasons, but it's been like eight years or something. And this is one of my first jobs out of drama school. So coming back like every year, people are different and people have had babies or they've gone off and they've traveled and they've grown up. So it does feel every year it feels really nice you come back and everyone's changed and you're just more embedded and you sort of it's just a lovely thing and I think that it kind of rubs off on you that family dynamic when we've got those big group scenes everyone does start sort of treating each other like you know like Harry just had to interview me earlier and I was like you're my little brother what are you doing? <laughs> Sorry I was really honest Yes Sorry. hello you look fabulous Oh thank you Pesky uh, Wonders fan site Oh yeah nice hi to see you again. Nice to see you Following the adventures of you and your dog I've, I've got <laughs> It's dog. all I'm so pleased it's all I want to talk about I've got dog envy I'm afraid at the moment oh, I just love him he's just getting bigger by the day I, I left and he was about this big oh, he's he's so I love him his name's Buddy oh, he's I know I know did you tell me without giving anything away what we can expect from uh, Ada this so I think Ada every season keeps growing and she yes. keeps becoming she's I mean she was this little kid when she started and she's now this like you know she's a single mother and she's she's got her own thing going on and she's accepted that she can never escape her family but she still has all these like political moral convictions and it's about her kind of grappling with that and sort of being a Shelby but also being her own individual person can I just ask one question? Yeah, one question. Okay. We're from the venue. Um, I don't know whether you knew this, but in 1914, it was a recruitment office, so men used to stand out here to enlist in the First World War. Wow. So based on that and the history and the attachment to Birmingham the show has, what's it like to come here for the premiere? It's such a beautiful building. I think that's, and that's so much a part of the story, isn't it, about like what happened to these men after the First World War, so it's amazing to sort of have that history here. And yeah, it's, I'm really happy to be here. It's lovely. What can we expect from uh, Johnny Dogs this series? Johnny Dogs this series away. is, uh, well, they're giving too much away. Um, he's, yeah, he's, he's there. There's just a couple of different bits that you're not going to really relate to as much with him. He's got a couple of um, iconic moments, I hope, there that they've kept. You know, we I'm a stranger to this as you are as well. I'm hoping that the stuff we worked on is there in, in, in the camera, but whether it is or not, that's the final decision of the bosses. Um, and hopefully we're not cutting too much of it, but um, I had a bit more license, a bit more freedom to play around with it. We've got a couple of good scenes with Paul, great scenes with um, Killian. Yeah, 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 so it's great. Why is this series the best yet? Um, not just because we moved the BBC Mons that board stake, the scripts a lot different. It's not faster, more pace, there's more there's more at stake, there's not more threats. Uh, yeah, there's a numerous amount of reasons why. Plus the cinematography is just incredible. Yeah. You know, um, one of the coolest names in the drama ah, itself. Why? Um how has this season been? It's fantastic, it's it's great. I'm delighted to be part of it. Um I keep saying it every year, time and time again, this is the best, but this is the best. It just keeps growing. Globally, it's got massive. We've moved to BBC One. Every actor and crew member felt the the pressure when we were doing it this year because we knew that all eyes were on us. Um, but we just took our lead from the, the main man, Killian. He leads by example and we follow his orders, you know. Okay. Like, what, did, what did you get from the character when you first saw it? What jumped out of that script when you first saw Johnny Dogs' character on that script? Certain things that we have to do that we don't normally do. <laughs> So you're the new Isaiah, is this right? Yes, yeah, that's right. So the, I'm taking over from Jordan, yeah, which has been such a, um, a fun journey, to be honest, to come in and, and play a part that's been in, but have my own have my own go at it, really. Um, and it's been, yeah, it's been fun. I've done, been doing a lot of scenes with Harry and just jumping into the swing of it, really. Um, but yeah, it's been great. You know, I did. I, we're doing a lot of the kind of like old kind of, on the ground, peaky stuff, you know, like, you know, doing doing the dirty work, I guess. Um, yeah, well, it's good enough to not know I'm Irish, I think. Yeah, you'll have you'll have to tell me when the show comes out. Yeah, yeah. I guess so, yeah. Yeah, it was fun, you know, coming, coming on and, and even seeing, I remember one day there was myself, Brian Gleason and Killian, we were doing a day and you know, three of us weren't playing an Irish person, you know. It was cool just to see three Irish actors. to slip into the accent. No, no, I think we, were, we all had it down, but um, it was just it was just cool to see that there's some Irish actors going on doing such great stuff, you know, to be, be a part of it. It's, it's great, yeah. So, 
can you remember the day you actually got the call and you actually went yes. to get the part? Yeah. One of the biggest programs on television. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I was, I was, at, I was actually doing a show in the West End at the time. Um, and I was doing it with uh, Charlie Murphy, who plays Jesse Eden in the show. Um, and so she was helping with my accent and my audition tape. But I, I do remember I was actually, I got a call from my agent and uh, I just went into the hallway and he was like, I think, we've, I think they're going to give you an offer on Peaky Blinders. And I was just like, okay. You don't turn it down. No, of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and um, yeah, it, it's low. And then I think it was a week later, my agent came to see the show that I was in at the time. And then the offer came through and it was, it was, it was awesome. Yeah. It was, Cause I, I just moved to London about two years ago from Dublin. Um, so, I mean, if you were to tell me two years ago that I was going to be a regular role in, you know, Peaky Blinders five, I wouldn't believe you, you know? So to, to get that call and to be just knowing that I get to be a part of such an amazing show was beyond amazing. Yeah. As a young actor, what can you take away from this? What will you take away? Being on set with so many, mm established actors that have been doing it for years you're a new actor yeah. what can you take away from it I mean to be honest I think it's just the, the the quality of what everyone is doing on set you know and, and that's not even just the actors that's down to like the crew and to the writing and to directing the actors of course I think it's just gotten to such a level of like I think brilliance you know and to be honest that when you go on to a set like that you can't help but raise your game you can't help but like uh, go for it with all you have you know so I, I and I'm working with the likes of like Helen and, and, and Killian and Paul, you know, you, you just, you don't get lessons like that. And I, and I think that's where a lot of young actors do learn like some of the best, you know, their best lessons, but being on set with, with such amazing people. Um, so being on stage, you raise your game when you're on stage in front with, with actors like that. Absolutely. You know, you can only take from what, what, you know, what you're working with and uh, you're in such fine company when you're, when you're doing a show like this, you know, uh, not just again with the actors, and the, but everything across the board it's just it's brilliant so a bit less under, underfoot I'd like to think yeah she gets to step up a little bit um, she is an MP's wife and um, yeah <laughs> well I don't it's a very sorry it's a very confusing kind of arena that isn't it because is she the wife is she not the wife and I don't even know how much people are uh, no you know I have a child with him but um, yeah I think people are assuming that I'm part of the Shelby like official Shelby I think I've always been a bit of Shelby but like officially tapped in throw some questions at me what have you got I'm having a wonderful time so great to see everyone here I'm so grateful for all of these the support and these fans that have come through and probably travelled quite far to come and see us today so it's it's nice to actually see them face to face be able to meet them hear their voices and get chatting so no I'm very very happy they like to dress up when they come to these premieres don't they don't we all I feel like I've made an effort Uh, you guys could have tried a little bit harder but (laughs) No, but you know, get fully glammed up in sort of the period dress and everything's though. fantastic. I mean, that's that's what it is. That's what we've kind of we've created a show. I say we, I, and it's a lot more people than just I. But we've created a show where people can get involved and can dress up and can enjoy it for the same reasons we enjoy it. And I think that that's a really special thing in TV at the moment is for people to be able to tap, tap, tap. hello. hello. <laughs> it's for people to be able to throw themselves into the world and be a part. Of it. I was just saying how nice it is to see everyone dressed up. And oh, it's so fun. It's and like, also like the, the vibe, like. I was just being told here that this is where they they queued up to assign for the war in 1914. And given how much yes. the show is about, yes. you know, the PTSD and stuff, it's quite. That's quite. I, it really is quite emotional. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> like genuinely yeah. um, but also yeah it's a beautiful evening and it's like nice I thought vibe. it was going to rain tonight I thought, it was, gonna, to. I thought it was supposed you, to rain you got to lick your finger but then I heard it never rains in Birmingham <laughs> but I don't know yeah, if it's it's never rain here as young actors what is it about Stephen's writing that jumps out of that script when you first see it everything <laughs> like literally everything you can hear the dr- like you can just yeah it's, <laughs> it's one of those experiences visual. like right, reading something like that is the way you can yeah it's so visual but every sense is kind of just from reading on a page every sense is, is really it's just like it's so exciting it's so exciting to be a part of it and every it's such a page turner that we're all we're all thrilled and you never know what's going to happen as well it's like Everyone talks about Game of Thrones, but it's like we have the same thing of like we don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> like and Steve me. Steve will constantly throw curveballs for us. So we're just so like, I don't know, it's it's fantastic to be a part of it. In case you turn to the first read through and it's across the table and you see your fellow act and you go, 
like that kind of thing because you have you don't know what's going to happen but then you see it on the page <laughs> yeah well it's funny isn't it the read through things have been the things that we can't work out if we like them or loathe them oh, like yeah. I, 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 they're great because then you can hear them all out all in one go but we haven't actually done read throughs for no. Peaky Blinds for the last time. I don't remember doing it since the very also, first also I mean series. I've been I, I've been unavailable for a couple of them I know that I mean yeah I mean <laughs> I've had other prior engagements but uh, doing your nails yeah I've been rushing my hair and things so uh, no we like, yeah no we, read throughs yeah the read throughs are kind of I remember doing what the first season two. I remember. Do, did, did, do you do, did you want to do yeah. one for season two? Did you I, come to that one? Or maybe I just. You're probably too I mean, busy. <laughs> but, um, busy. <laughs> you're probably too busy washing your hair too. <laughs> but I remember that this. Oh my God, Loz! Wait, so Loz? <laughs> come in! Loz! You need to go around the top. Though, right? you, need to, okay. you need to go around to the top yeah. if she wants to. All the way around. Okay. Way around. So go to the top. Sorry, we've just seen uh, the hair designer, hair and makeup designer, and her team have just, uh, just arrived. They're going to get so they're going to get escorted. So Loz, the reason why we're saying um, like Loz, Loz is very important because she's hugely a important. Let's get in. Loz, when come Ellie here. Barber now in the UK gets oh, yeah. there. Here she yes, is. Here she is. <laughs> and Una. And Una. Una. These are the ladies Una. that actually oh, make us look yeah. like so <laughs> much more beautiful than you. Yeah. <laughs> this is. Would you like to see <laughs> this? Get in here. This is our uh, head makeup artist. <laughs> <laughs> and the, Una did my Hello. makeup this season, Hello. so these are the these are who to thank for our but wonderful. You're, sorry, you're you don't have to do any without interviews. You, I'll just... you don't get that essence of that period. <laughs> well, we need the faces and the hair yeah. first, <laughs> yeah, <it laughs> which is, they uh, are. No, but yes, yeah, we have a lot. It's of been fun. it's been four seasons of long work, but it's good. Yeah, no, we've I've had a lot of fun there. and well, lots of exploring with all sorts of stuff. So. It's, so no, it's great. We're so just we're just so happy to be here. I didn't expect to see you back. Yeah. Um, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Um, so series four ended with um, some very definite storylines to pick up. So mm. you're now a mom. Who's Ash, aka Aiden, now a mom? Um, is Jesse Eden fully off the scene? I don't know what we're allowed to say or not. Nothing. Uh, She's nothing. in the series though, right? Who's Jesse Eden? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll just go with that. Hey. Who's that? We can make I don't a know. slogan. Who's Jesse? No, we're not allowed to well, say what's. Um, <laughs> I mean, there's, there's, just always expect the unexpected. That's what I'll say. How about that? Uh, I don't know about that one either. Who I don't know. is Alfie Solomon? Who, who is Alfie Solomon? Uh, no, I mean all of that stuff is like always ex- know, with Steve with Stephen. Stuff gets cut, stuff gets brought in last minute, and uh, it's all up in the air. But guaranteed, you're going to have a blast watching this season. So thank you. What is the dynamic like on set of a, of, a, of a program of a drama like Peaky Blinders? Because it is, oh, it's, horrible. it's very intense. <laughs> there are some quite yeah, intense I've, I've, I've uh, asked to never be in scenes with, yeah. um, with Michael. This is the only time we actually Lizzie look at Michael. each other. Um, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can't, we can't go too okay, far yeah. with this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, it's it's awesome. Like I was just saying to these guys, we have. We have such a good camaraderie on set. We have such a good laugh. Tash had a, a hand that went on. There was a finger puppet hand for about two weeks that was just hysterical. <laughs> it you got know, us through the cold, it, I think. It really it was did. really cold night shoots and the little really hand did. just helped. So there's just constantly, there's yeah, constantly stuff the coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of put your sleeve around it. As well, actually. Exactly. We do things like that. Exactly. So yeah. it's, a lot of, it's a lot of kids in adult bodies yeah. having fun. We are all kids. I'm playing, and um, just, we get dressed up and stuff. But we're all um, sorry, guys. Yeah, just have to end it there. If that's yeah. all right. Sorry. Yeah, all right. Uh, I wonder what we can expect from Finn. He's been blooded now, hasn't he? Yes, so, that's right. He's been officially tribalatized yes. yo. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> sorry, people. Um, yeah. So yeah, Finn. Finn's. Yeah, he's really, really, um, really got comfortable in who he is. Um, but at the same time, it's still very. Um, in a lot of new situations and he really doesn't understand the world I don't think still but he definitely knows what it means to be a Peaky Blinder but because the Peaky Blinders are so detached from the world and they do so many weird things you know they're pretty violent and pretty radical um, and Finn's just probably gauging that as a young man and now that he is a man yeah he gets up to a lot of uh, antics can't wait thank you very much thank you